Hello and welcome to Leon's Lockpad. Today we are going to gut a ERA. It's a oval. Let's put the light on. There we go. It's an oval. Um, check out the bitting on this key. That is really nasty bitting. Now this key, I think you can see this key has been even made for this lock. Um, I certainly don't think it's a challenge lock when I got given this. Um, but how nasty that is. That is some nasty bitting. But works super smooth. Uh, we're a, we're, well, it looks like we're a six pin. We could be a five pin. But we'll find out. So before we do that, I hope you're all well. And all staying safe. Another blistery morning in the UK. What are we on? Half past nine. Um, right. Let's get cracking onto this. Uh, let's have a, we have a C clip on the back. Oh, uh, I think I got this lot from Ben Jacksified actually. Again, um, uh, I've never picked it and I've never got got it. There is quite a few locks I haven't picked in my collection just for the fact because I have that that many. But um, I think I'd have had a hard time with that. And the keyway as well, it looks weird, but it's actually quite, it looks plain, but it's quite a nasty keyway. It sort of like tricks you a little bit. Hopefully we can get it gutted anyway and see what, what's inside it. And it all goes pear shape, it goes pear shape. There's only one way. Wait a minute. No. I hope not anyway. This will be a very short video. Oh, there we go. We've got it. We've done it. So we are a six pin. That's just got to be a really long pin. Sorry, I was looking at that. Yeah, that. You don't even need to pick that one. Let's, let's find out anyway. So we got just a standard... Get, I'd assume that anyway, unless it was a challenge lock. Standard key pins. Oh yeah, that's one long key pin, that. Uh, there'd be nothing in there with it being just a standard. Uh, right, let's have a look what's going on in here. So we have a steel pin, non-security. A very long spring. Sorry, isn't that in the, out of the way then? We have a spool. We have another spool. We have another spool. So there would be definitely uh, there would be definitely some fault set going on with this. Let's go from the back. There we go. Standard in number six. Well, my vision went funky then. I couldn't see where that spring went. And we have a spool in four, uh, five. So let me have a look. There's nothing. There's nothing going on inside there. I can see that. Um, but I want to look at this so let's put these key pins back in and let's have a look about see how these go into interact with this lock because this lock has either been rebuilt or it did come like this 
the key that's of it. But sorry, I'm gonna zoom up a little bit. As you can see, number four isn't is not even being doesn't even need to be picked. So spool would interact, steel would interact. This uh Number three would barely interact. Forget number four. You're not going to get anything in there, but absolutely pointless. It's going to do nothing. That not really interacting and the back one drops right down. Um, that makes no sense if you get what I mean. If you look, see that? That's a full standard one. That makes no sense being in there. For me, I would swap that round. I would put number five, which I'm going to do anyway. Number five, number six, I would put in as a spool. As you can see, you get the most interaction with that. And this being a standard non-security pin, I would just leave it there. That really would do for the moment. And also, I would swap. I would, if it wasn't that much, in, I'd, I wouldn't swap. No, there's full interaction with that one. Yeah. Yeah, that middle one, I would just leave a standard in there. I'll put this, if you have this lock and put it back together. At least it'll give you more fun and, and give you the trueness of um, how difficult it would be, would pick when the, not having a spool in all that, that, the back part there, which is so deep, because that would, you get a lot of good interaction with that one. As enough as I can hardly pull it out. So, yeah, that's just really odd. I don't know why companies do that. Well, I sort of, it's just, they're all mass produced, aren't they? You know, the computer decides on the bit in and then throws the pins in, but you, you know, you think the, you know, computers are supposed to be intelligent, aren't they? Oh, well, the way they're programmed, I should say. But yeah, I would have it more like that. Uh, is it number four? No, let's swap that. Number four. Yeah, so that's how I'd have it set up. That is just really, really odd how it's like that. But um, yeah, still an interesting lock. And that, that colour, what's going on in there? You can see there's like, you can see there's two, there's a blade right there and one right there. The warden, can you see them? The twist, um, so this would be quite difficult to pick. Like that. it'd be in a funny angle. But, um, yeah, it was a cool lock. It's like for me, it was the first time I've seen what was inside that. Uh, very interesting. But uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, actually, first of all, I, I hope you enjoy this. I hope it helps in any way. Um, I will see you next Wednesday at the same time. But well, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and bye. Don't forget to like.